Hi, this is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. Now, we're going to start a new series. This will be a new playlist, actually. But what I'm doing right now is showing you the final reveal. I'm going to spin around slowly, and then I will show you exactly how this looked before I did anything to it. All right. You like my hairstyle? You like my hair like this? You think it's becoming on me? Tell me what you think now. Hello. All right. What do you think? Hmm? Get a close-up look. Voila. Yum, yum. Well, this is the final reveal from what you saw me doing last night. And you saw what I started with, but what you saw me start with was this much less hair before you saw me cutting. This is what it looked like originally. Do you see all this hair? You see how long it is? Look at that. That is what you call long. And when you get it on, it looks a lot thicker than it does in this picture. This is the way they advertise it, but it looks way thicker than this. You see how long that is on that young gate on that young lady's hair? Look at that. That is that's below her elbows. <laughs> below her waistline. That is long, you guys. And it's not that thin. Look at this. Look how thick that is. That is thick. That's a lot of hair. So, I thinned it, and as you can see, I cut it. Now, a lot of people look at this and say, oh, no, well, why is she pay for all that hair? Why is she cutting it? I'm 62 years old. Even when I was 32, I wore, there are certain features, certain looks, certain dimensions and proportions where a woman or a man looks more natural with a certain length. There are certain lengths that are believable on certain people. Doesn't matter what shade, light, dark, race, size, nothing. It's the look. It's something about the look. Okay. Now, I've had Caucasian customers and Asian customers that did not look right with hair too long. And I've had some black customers that were extremely brown skinned and they look more exotic with a, a texture of hair that I couldn't wear. It would look phony on me. They could wear the silky wavy, the big waves and wear it way down their waist and look like they were an island woman. I couldn't wear it. I would look like a fool because it didn't match my features. So when you wear a hairstyle, you must wear the cut and the thickness that matches your features. You're not there to showcase hair. The hair is to showcase you. And that's where a lot of you young ladies get that backwards because you worship the hair. You look at the hair and you say, oh, I could have hair coming down. Oh, the more hair, the merrier. Hair, hair, more hair. Oh, come on. You start to look ridiculous after a while. You want people to take you seriously. Wear a look that is believable. Don't try to overcompensate by wearing four pounds of hair on one head of head. It, it just doesn't make sense. You may think it's pretty, but other people are looking at you behind your back and then looking at each other like, I don't think so. So, when you style, you make sure you never buy a wig or, or hair and just slap it on. You've got to use thinning shears. You've got to use scissors. You've got to shape it. You've got to taper it down. You don't just let edges hang long. Nobody's edges are all perfectly even and long unless their hair grows down to their knees. I'm telling you now, 
You start looking at people and start looking at what looks real. I look at women with curly hair because I am partial to curly hair. I don't like straight hair. I like curly, curly and textured. Okay, so I look at Puerto Rican women. I look at, at mixed women. I look at black women from the islands. I look at hair that looks more like something I could have naturally. And I watch how their hair grows out, how it lays, where it's puffy, where it's flat. And I imitate that when I put hair on my head so that it looks like it's my hair. Anyway. That's your lesson. <laughs> and if you want to know what kind of wig this is, it is called It's a Half Wig. That's the brand name. The brand name is It's a Wig, but this is a half wig. And I don't know why they call it half wig. I covered my whole head with it. But anyway, and it is called Bowie, B-O-W-I-E. That is the style. I have the color too. And I have a little piece of my hair right in the front, just pressed to, bl to blend the edges in so that you don't see the line of the wig and it looks more natural. I always use my edges. So anyway, God bless you. And I hope you enjoyed this little video. This is a new thing I'm doing. And I will start doing it probably in about three, three weeks to a month and a half. I'll start a whole new chain of things like this. This will be a lot less frequent. This might be one or two a month. Just for women who want pointers on what looks good on their faces and what type of styles they should wear. Because I'm telling you, your hairstyle will make you or break you. You can have a $2,000, $5,000 dress on and you can have a crappy looking wig, a crappy looking weave, or sorry extensions. Just because you want to have long hair and some of you Caucasian women or, and you young ladies who want to wear it way down, down, down. You have to remember that if your hair is not that long, your hairdresser needs to layer it from the length of your hair to the length that you want it to be so that it looks like a naturally layered cut. But if your hair stops here, and I've seen a lot of celebrities do that, your hair stops here and the other hair drops all the way down to your waist or your knees, it's very obvious it's not your hair. When you start shaking your hair, you got short stuff doing this. And all the rest of the hair is hanging down almost stationary. I'm telling you, you got to be careful how you do your hair. You want to have a good self-esteem. You want to feel good about yourself. Be thorough. Be thorough. Be particular about how you present your yourself from head to toe. Okay. God bless you. Lesson learned.